Shall we pray? O Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, we are here together in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for our sins and rose again for our salvation. We are here today to hear your words. Only your words is truth and life. Nothing but the truth, Lord. All other words in the world, nothing but the force, Lord. Thank you for giving us opportunity to receive your word of life and spirit. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to read the book of Psalm chapter 23. The Psalm of David. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest me, my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Yeah, the house of the Lord is the place, exact place where we're supposed to dwell forever, not in this world. That's the reason we have to get out of this earth, world, sinful world, and the judgment of God. Come out of it and you start the life of stranger, life of pilgrim toward holy city. In heaven, that is called New Jerusalem. Okay, let me read the book of John. Today's sermon related to book of, book of uh, John chapter 10, verse 1 through 17. When I read here all these words, word by word, sincerely, in all your heart, then Holy Spirit will give you understanding what that means, because it is a parable, okay? If this is parable, that's why you need eyes of understanding, ears to hear the words of God. Okay, from verse one. A very, very I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the ship fold, but climbeth up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. But he that enters in by the door is the shepherd of the ship. To him the potter openeth and ship hear his voice. And he calleth his own ship by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own ship, he goes before them, and the ship follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parables 
spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the ship. All that ever came before me I thieves and robbers, but the ship did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the ship, but he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd whose own and the ship are not, sees the wolf coming, and loves the ship, leaves leaves the ship and flees and the wolf catches them and scatters the ship. The hireling flees because he is an hireling and cares not for the ship. I am the good shepherd and know my ship and am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the ship, and other ship I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must hiring, a bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore, does my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again? No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Yeah, the word the sheep or flock in the Bible speaks primarily of Israel. The prophet Ezekiel prophesied that the nation of Israel was the flock of God, but unfortunately is flattered, but shall be gathering together. For thus say the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will have if both search my ship and seek them out, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his ship that are scattered, so will I seek out my ship and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. However, in the New Testament, after the Calvary cross, a ship or flock of a ship or flock is spiritually applied to refer to the children of God who have been saved and born again by believing in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone who goes into the other way without going into the door is a thief and a robber. These are the words referring to religious leaders like the Pharisees at the time, and also the Greek philosophers such as Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates, and so on, who insisted that they deny Jesus, the good shepherd, and lead them in the way of salvation to heaven. Ridiculous. How they can lead them to heaven? No way. But they are people who steal and kill and destroy souls. 
Apostle Paul also sent a warning message of them. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. All the education system of present world, as well as the time of Apostle Paul and Jesus Christ, have been teaching childish principle to steal the souls of those who should follow Christ and lead them to destruction by promising a better world. It is called the world order, you know, being made by Illuminati, Freemason, and so on. The Lord says he is the shepherd of the ship, but the Lord is not only the shepherd who takes care of the flock, but also tells us that he is the door to the ship and also the way to heaven. To Philip, when he asked the Lord to know where he's going, Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Now the Lord is speaking unto Pharisees. They are thieves and robbers. As Jesus said in parables, the door of a ship, which the Lord will speak, is the door to the kingdom in heaven. It is said that no one can be saved without going through the door to the kingdom of heaven. In other words, without believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, when the Lord Jesus appears in the, in the air, cannot be raptured into the heaven through the ship's door. Jesus said, there shall be one fold. Fold means church. And one shepherd, one church, one shepherd, all right? One ships, one shepherd. Of course, only Jesus Christ is the only one shepherd, but he also meant one church and one shepherd. Yeah, this is one church, too many shepherds, too many pastors. The Lord will open the doors of heaven and appear in the air, calling the names of his ship and bringing them out of the earth and lifting them up through the heavenly door. Pastor John is a blessed person. He was in the Holy Spirit. He saw what will happen in the future for him. After this I looked, and behold, he just testified, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit. He was not in the body, spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. What a wonderful Sin, it is in heaven. Yeah, we shall go over there through the door. Door, you know, in heaven. When Apostle Paul wrote to the Thessalonian church saints, he also testified that they would hear the trumpet, trump heard by John. 
when they were raptured. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And all the comfort given unto is in a departure day from evil world. See? Yeah, sinful world last 6,000 years. All the earth became just a Sodom and Gomorrah. And worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. You want to live here forever? Think about that. Don't be deceived by devil. Devil deceiving you continually. Yeah, this world is a good, to, good place to live, you know. Yeah. That's right. The saved, the saints are to hear the voice of the Lord and follow him. They are not going to follow any stranger at all. This is the unique character of a chef that follows only the shepherd. Jesus Christ is the shepherd's chief. And the shepherds who are called by him and carrying his ship are to feed his ship and bring their ship to heaven. Therefore, the ship of the Lord do not listen to the voice of false shepherds who do not feed the word of the good shepherds. The Lord said, By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pastures. What that means. This will cause the Lord to open the door to heaven and let his ship go through the door of heaven to be saved. It is called rapture, the day of Christ. Also, once again, at the end of great tribulation, he will judge the world. And when he establishes his kingdom, opening the door of heaven again, he will be coming, and at this time, the Lord will lead them into the pastures in the earth, making them kings, reigning with the Lord. Apostle John testified, when the Lord Jesus came down from heaven with a ship, seeing the door of heaven opened, at this time the Lord's ship will become the armies of heaven. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that set, he set upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture a dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linens, white and clean. Yeah, that is, you know, shape of the ships, you know, the rapture. King David confessing the Lord God as his shepherd, testified that when he comes down with him to the earth, the Lord would lead him to green pastures. Don't want his enemy at all. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. 
Thou anointest my head with the oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me at the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Yeah, he rose again already when Jesus Christ rose again, you know. Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 27. He's not going to die again, just like us, who are raptured. Right? Prophet Ezekiel prophesied that David would once again be anointed in the Lord's millennium kingdom. Yeah, he just said like that. And I will set up one shepherd over them. That means Israel. And he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God. And my servant David, a prince among them. And that means king, okay? I, the Lord, have spoken it. Yeah, Lord has spoken it. Yes. He sealed his word. The Lord also warned us about false shepherds in the church of God until the Lord come. He said that they are hirelings. They are not shepherds. The person hired, all right, to receive some salary, okay? Therefore, the sheep of the Lord must discern whether their shepherds are hirelings or good shepherd. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not. Yes, the sheep is not their own. Sees the wolf coming ooh, and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf catches them, and scatters in the ship. The hireling flees, because he is an hireling, and cares not for the ship. The hireling flees, because he is a hired servant. There is no interest in the ship of Jesus. The Lord said, there are other ship that have not come into this ship, and that they should be brought in, and that they too will hear the voice of the Lord in the future, when the Lord spoke through prophet Ezekiel, and he said, For those says the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my ship and seek them out. Yeah, they are originally the sheep of God, but they are speaking of the people of Israel who have been scattered because of the hirelings, you know, false prophet, false shepherd. But the prophet Hosea prophesied that they would seek the Lord in a midst of affliction, that is gratulation. He just prophesies saying like that, I'll go, I mean Jesus to come, I'll go and return to my place in heaven, right? Right hand side of God. Till they acknowledge their offense, because they killed their Savior, Lord Jesus, and seek my face in their affliction, in the time of graduation under Antichrist. Finally, seeing Jesus Christ coming back, you know, they shall repent. They will seek me early. Yes. Then they shall be gathered, you know, to the ship of Jesus Christ, you know, that could other ships. However, at this time, 
The Roman Catholic, the Church of Harlot, claimed that they are the ship of God and that the churches that left them through the uh, reformation of Martin Luther were other ship and did not belong to the ship. So far, they are finally doing religious ecumenical movement through the WCC, what a committee it is. The ship of the Lord, Jesus, know who they are. But those who are not the ship of the Lord are deceived by their word. Many, many churches, you know, deceived by Catholic. We are realized the word of the Lord and not to be deceived by a group of robbers. That is Roman Catholic and New World Others, Illuminati and Freemason and so on. I bless all of you. Open your eyes widely to discern the spirit. Now follow them. But follow only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus is the one shepherd that can lead us to the door of heaven, the heavenly kingdom, New Jerusalem. I bless all of you. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen.